Hey, what's up? Comment vous encore? Moi, posé. Posé. Le mot s'en joue, pas grand joue. Braquille. Braquille. Pas bien, non, 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 braquille. Buy plan, buy plan. Braquille. Papa, vrai pé. La mo s'en joue, pas bien joue, bah on plein. Braquille, pas bien, vrai pé. I am currently kidnapped in the middle of nowhere, Haiti. But we're friends. We're homies. Cheers. He gave me a cigar, beer. I got my own bed. All right, hello guys. Welcome back to another video. So recently I talked about your fellow Arab and how he got kidnapped because essentially he went to Haiti for a video because you know that's what his whole channel is about, going to dangerous places and interviewing really dangerous people for content and clicks. And for one of his upcoming videos, he came up with the great idea to go to Haiti, a really dangerous country if you guys are not aware. There's a lot of gang activity. The government has essentially fallen there. And just to keep it a buck with you guys, the country has gone to shit. So for for Arab here, it was a really great video idea. He was going to go and meet up and interview one of the most dangerous men in that country. This guy that Arab was going to meet up and interview happens to go by the name of Barbecue. He is the leader of G9. It's a gang that happens to be the biggest gang in Haiti. And I mean, just hearing that, that really puts it into perspective on how dangerous going to meet this guy and interview him really is. Now, we already went over most of this in my first video, so I'm not going to sit here and explain everything and how it happened but essentially when Arab was going to go meet this guy he allegedly got kidnapped and then that's when this news came out that he was kidnapped and surprisingly barbecue wasn't the person who kidnapped him or his gang it actually turns out that allegedly Lanmo Sanju the leader of the gang 400 Maozo and his gang were behind this and that's all allegedly by the way and the reason why I say that's allegedly and I'm not stating that as fact is like I was before is because recently I have came across some evidence that proves that this kidnapping might actually be fake. Now, before we get into this, I just wanted to give a special shout out to Plantation Sue. Me and him are both working on the situation pretty much together. We have shared to each other a lot of information regarding this topic. I gave him information. He gave me information. So yeah, once again, special shout out to him for that. Now, something that I found particularly weird about this situation was when this information came out or specifically before it came out, because the people who are near this guy, they happened to know about this before it even came out and went public to everybody else because, you know, he got allegedly kidnapped for two weeks. I just really don't understand why nobody was trying to like do anything about the situation. Like everybody was just sitting here, quite frankly, doing nothing to help the situation. And what I mean by that is literally, okay, he was kidnapped. They want ransom. They'll let him free when they get the ransom, hopefully. And it's like you would expect people to like try to raise money because it's like you want them to release him. We heard about a $40,000 payment being made, but that was pretty much it. Like I don't understand the reaction that a lot of these people who were close to him had because for example, Here's a tweet from this guy who claims that he's in contact with Arab in Haiti from the kidnappers. And he says, I'm in contact with Arab in Haiti through the kidnappers. If you can offer help in any way, please freely DM me. I can DM Arab's family too. Like it overall just does not make any sense to me. And the reason why I say that is because it seems like there is no sense of urgency in this situation. Like this guy's life is at risk, or at least that's what we would think if he got kidnapped, right? And he was being held for ransom. I mean, we heard what happened with the other Americans when they got kidnapped when they went there. But I want to point you to this chilling video that surfaced this week of the suspected gang leader accused of holding the missionaries and children hostage. Authorities are reviewing this video as part of their investigation into this brazen kidnapping. And in the tape or on the video that's been circulating online, the gang leader threatens to kill the hostages if their demands are not met. I mean, as you can see right here from this video, like the gang was threatening to kill these 17 people who had been kidnapped two years ago, these missionaries. And I just find it to be so weird that there wasn't the same reaction as you weren't hearing from these guys that they were going to do the same thing to Arab. But rather instead, this video came out that was recorded when Arab was there with this gang. And because this video is in a different language, I actually do have a translation to it. And this translation comes from a Twitter user. Just to note, I did fact check this translation and this translation is 100% correct. Now this video along with another video that I have to show really sets the stage on how like urgent this situation is and how this guy was kidnapped and he was put in horrible horrible conditions. He was having the worst time of his life in this two week period that he was kidnapped for and guys he really needs your help getting out. He was fucking kidnapped. He was going to be murdered if they didn't receive the ransom and due to that you guys should really care about this as if he actually 
Ellie technically did get kidnapped, but I'm sorry to break it to you, it doesn't seem like that is the case. Because this is one of the videos that was released from when Arab was allegedly kidnapped. Just take a look at it and we'll translate it after. Okay. 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 Okay, my beer blanc, 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 my blanc, my beer blanc, my blanc, my Et ton fier de vous me déchita avec bleu là parce que nous connaissons même toujours mes chita en pile notre nation en bonne et ton plaisir ok le monde là moi ça je vois que je vais en bleu ok mais pas bon 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 à coup là là merci frère merci frère merci frère yeah, because this really seems like he was being kidnapped, am I right? And he was just like having to deal with the worst shit ever, fearing for his life, having to constantly worry about being tortured, worrying about whether or not you'd be eating that day or not. Like this guy definitely seems like he was in a lot of trouble and he is very, very lucky that he got away from these people. Very. No, it really didn't seem like any of that. If you really want to know what the translation to this video is, I do have a little bit of it and this is what was being said. The world, I greet you all in general. I salute all my brothers, all my allies, my good brothers, Barbecue's criminal organization, the world as you always like to criticize people, okay? These are the brothers I was holding. They were at my place. Do you see them looking like people who were kidnapped? Show them the air conditioner. And then that's where they show the air conditioner in that part of the video. See how well they were chilling? You understand? Do you see them as kidnapped? They were at their home. So yeah, there you have it. You have the guy who allegedly kidnapped Arab saying that they weren't kidnapped. And then you see a video where they weren't being kidnapped. They were all having a good old time. They were hugging each other, talking about their swag. Yeah, this is definitely a guy that we should have been worrying about because his life was in danger, man. It was just, he was being tortured and he was honestly having the worst things done to him. Bro didn't even have a scratch on him. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And then he's gonna come out here saying, oh, he was kidnapped. Really, man? Really? L script, honestly, if you ask me. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm happy that he is actually unharmed and he got away, but I don't buy this whole thing of, oh, he was kidnapped. And to all the people who were worried for this guy, because word on the street was that he got kidnapped, like there's no way that you believe that he was actually kidnapped now seeing that video. And I bet if you did see that video, you probably wouldn't be as worried for the guy. Because they made this whole situation seem like he could die at any moment. He was being tortured. He wasn't being given any food or anything like that. But no, that was not the case. And to be honest, if you think about it this way, I think those 17 missionaries probably would have killed for the treatment that you were receiving when you were there with them like this was definitely blown out of proportion for content and also for attention and it's pretty sad now i'm about to show you guys another video that has surfaced after his release and essentially the video is him again having a good time smoking and drinking beer with this gang leader like i'm not making this shit up and apparently this guy was kidnapped guys just take a look hey what's up <coughs> uh, I am currently kidnapped in the middle of nowhere, Haiti. But we're friends. We're homies. Cheers. He gave me a cigar, beer. I got my own bed. 
Ok. Madame, monsieur, est-ce qu'il fiel ce tir à la mort sans jour là? Yes, uh, Félix, uh, facile. How do I say happy? Uh, oui, content. Content. oui, content. Oui, oui content. content. Ok. Blond, le... content. Ok, le mot bonne fête. Le mot son jour, voilà le mot son jour. Yeah. Voilà le mot son jour. Ok, là, il n'a pas le caca, ok. Voilà, ok. I need to uh, empty this. Okay. Même okay. blanc vie ouais non. Can I step outside, King, to mm. empty this? Can I do it? No, but this is fatigue. You put the gel on the floor. Yes, you put the gel on the floor. And then, 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 and Okay. Mon blanc bel noir. In, in English, in anglais. <laughs> Adim la. What do you say? In anglais, say my friend. In anglais, what do you say? My friend. My friend. Okay. My friend. Mon ami. Mon ami. Mon ami. Partner. Okay. Bon yeah, bon nobody else, by the way, is getting bon kidnapped bon in okay. Haiti and okay. befriending them, bon even bon though they're demanding ransom. Bon okay. Bon okay. Bon okay. Cheers. Okay. Le mensonge joue. Pas un jour. Pas un jour. Bas plein. Braquier. Papé vrai pour. Vrai pé. Papé vrai pé. So yeah, honestly, just seeing that video and just knowing the amount of people who were worried for this guy because the news came out that he was kidnapped while trying to meet one of the most dangerous men in Haiti, it just honestly shows that you guys overreacted because this guy wasn't actually in trouble. Because once again, I'm going to bring up the 17 missionaries who were kidnapped by the same guy. Were they treated like this? Were they all having a good time drinking and smoking? Were they hugging each other? Like sure, I guess if you want to be really fair to this guy, you can say, oh, he was kidnapped and the only reason why he was acting the way he was and as if he was having a good time which i mean realistically it looked like he was having a good time regardless if he was actually kidnapped or not like at the same time this guy was getting the content that he wanted going there and of course he wanted to go see barbecue and interview that guy instead but this video still when it gets released it's going to be a banger ass video because bro got allegedly kidnapped right he gets taken to this guy's crib and they're just hanging out having a good old time having a big ass party while everybody else on twitter is just worrying for this guy thinking that he's going to get killed like i really hope you guys can see my point here and what i'm trying to say like this guy you would think that him being allegedly kidnapped you'd see videos where he's scared and not having a good time he's in a dark room or something they're torturing him but like you'd expect to see things like that but in this case you see exactly the opposite now anyways moving on after he was released and he got home he decided to hop on sneeko's stream and he talked further about this situation and i just wanted to go over one clip where he talks about being held captive by Liu Sanju and what he experienced. Just take a look. Okay, it's working, it's working, it's working. Okay. All right, go ahead, ask me. Ask what, me. What, what the fuck happened? We're on our way to interview Barbecue. Confirmed. He had responded to us. We had been approved. We're on our way to interview Barbecue, and that motherfucker, Le Mont Sanju, just kidnaps me. They, 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 they throw us into a shack for four hours, and they hold a shotgun and, a, and an assault rifle to us for four hours in a dark trailer and it was two crackheads they had their fingers on the trigger and then four hours later this boss this la monsanju guy shows up with 20 20 people 10 of them armed and they're just staring at me like like as if i'm some money son because i'm white you're blown and they're just they're just staring at me bro and i'm like fuck we're totally for sure getting kidnapped so I started spinning, bro. I started, like, making these guys laugh, whatever. They didn't torture me or anything. They threw me in a... Normally, they throw people with a, with, a, with a bag over their head, and they throw them in a dark shack and feed them from under the door. Because because we were so good at speaking to them, we, were, we had a good area. Like, I, I was kidnapped in the middle of the desert for sure, but... You know, we were, we were in, a, in a better situation than most would be while kidnapped. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. Then they drove us like an hour into the desert, like pure desert, like away from any civilization. Bro, I didn't even know that there desert. was a desert. I go to Haiti almost every year. I did not even know there was a desert. You know, do you know, do you know where Croix, Croix de Bouquet is? No. Oh yeah. It's pure desert, bro. Like, like, like white desert, not Sahara desert, white desert. 
okay? And and the road's all bumpy and shit, so you're not going in there with a car. Like, you, it's all speed bumps. And, yo, the, the first word they taught me when they kidnapped me, they said, pose. I'm like, okay, pose. They're like, yeah, that, that means chilling. That's what they said, chilling. They had, like, one guy who speaks English. Chilling. I'm like, okay, pose. And they're like, yeah, pose, chilling. I'm like, okay, cool. And as they're driving me, they're like, uh, they're, they're like, uh, we, we like you. That's why you don't have a bag over your head. I was like, oh, thank you very much. They go, uh, they go, do you have any family you can call so that you can negotiate your ransom? And I go, I do have family. They go, you're going to call your mom or your dad. I said, no, I'm not going to call my mom. She'll have a heart attack. I'll call my brother. And they go, we want to call your parents. I said, no, no, you don't understand. My mother will die. If you call my mother first, she will die. And then they, they let me call my brother. And they took a few videos with me where I'm very excited. That's why you see some people on socials going, oh, he wasn't kidnapped. He's just chilling with the guy in his house. Yeah, well, I'm fucking surrounded by 10 dudes with guns in the middle of the desert. Of course, I'm going to be friendly. Yeah, I know. Like, that. It's either that or... Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's either that or I get fed from under a, a fucking dark door. Like, yeah, I'm gonna befriend them. I know how to make the best out of the situation, but I'm still fucking kidnapped in the desert. Bro, everyone, people are saying it's a script. Like, even people that are close to me, like, I was, I'm in bro, Mo Vlogs' bro, house. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, like, <laughs> it's okay, bro. It's part of the internet, you know? They're gonna think it's a script forever. <laughs> the dude literally took a video and uploaded it. Like, the dude literally took a video like he does with all his captives and uploaded it. He dressed me today and fake Fendi, I look like a fucking woman. And, and, <laughs> shorts and, he, and, he, and he gave me new shorts. He goes, take off all your clothes, you're wearing this. And he sat me on a couch and he made a video with us today. Hey, bro, that guy's wanted by the F He's on the FBI public wanted list for a million dollars. A million dollars on the FBI list. So he cooked for me. He cooked for you? Yeah, at one point he cooked for me. Was it good? On like day 10, he... On day 10, he brought us some goat that he had cooked for us. Day, day 12, I think. Day, day 11. Yeah, okay, how about this? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that, oh, what he is saying about being kidnapped, it's true. He didn't fake it. He was actually being held there regardless of how happy he looked or not. But the fact that it was made a big deal on Twitter and people were genuinely worried and him making a big deal about it in his tweets, saying things like, glory be to God, released between Good Friday and Easter, Christ is King. You don't pray to a rainbow flag, you pray to God, like as if he's dying or something. And there's this very big threat of him dying or like him being tortured. Like, no, that was not the case at all from what we saw in those videos and maybe okay like i said the kidnapping was not fake it was not scripted but bro made it a way bigger deal than it had to be like they were just hanging out having a good old time and of course he had to act good to these people he had to call that one gang leader a king but there's no way at that point that this guy was fearing for his life like they were hugging drinking and smoking bro even said he had his own bed like you've got to be kidding me nobody should have worried for this guy this was definitely blown out of proportion and i don't care what nobody thinks if they have a different opinion I have no problem with you guys calling it fake or having your own opinion on the situation, but you're not going to change my stance on me thinking that this was definitely blown out of proportion. I can see why the U.S. did not want to help him out, let alone that he went there when the U.S. has a level four travel advisory, meaning you shouldn't go there for any reason because it's very dangerous. Now, I guess with that all being said, I'm going to wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so it helps promote the video more in the algorithm so more people will see it. Thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel. I really do appreciate your support and it really does mean the world to me. Now with that all being said, don't be like this retarded YouTuber and go to Haiti and meet the most dangerous criminals because that would really suck if you did get kidnapped. But yeah, besides that, my name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Shit.